Yo everyone, so today I had to go up to north to Wakefield. So I figured whilst I had to go there, why don't I nip over to Leeds and check out the Leeds Urban Bike Park. Um, been meaning to come here for a while now. I don't know if you can see it all behind me there. So I brought the Cannondale Jackal 1 with me. Still got this on test from CSG and Albany Cycles. But obviously also in my nice new van, by the way, check out my nice new van, uh, I've bought my little dirt jump bike. So uh, I thought I might as well stick them in the van as well. And, uh, and yeah, yeah, we've got typical Northern weather. It's been absolutely chucking it down. So uh, yeah, let's go check out the urban bike park, see what it's all about. I think that's one of the main lines that I've seen on all the videos. We're going to have a little play. As you can see it's uh, really cold wet windy and slippy so it is making for quite hard work but as you can probably see from the video as it goes off in distance you just go back uphill obviously so you do have to hit every single jump nail every single jump and land hit all the landings and pump all the landings um, i've not made it through yet obviously i think the wind's killing me what is nice to see though is all the kids and the families involved and that and all the kids out riding it is just so windy and so wet and soft on the ground and really struggling to get through everything on the big bike. Uh, see if this rain blows over for a minute and then I'm going to get the hardtail out. I keep calling it a hardtail, it's not a hardtail anymore, I've put rigid forks on it. So I'm going to get the jump bike out and we'll go and check out the dirt jumps and the BMX track and have a play there. This is the start of the BMX one as you can see. It's got a proper start gate. We'll be holding like BMX training evening, start gate practice and I think it's an ideal beginners track for that and it goes off into a first start into a nice table with an extra landing so you can triple it and a nice easy double with a step up step down at the end there and then it turns into more dirt jumpy sort of free ride park and then the very end section splits off into three with two lines running across that way and then the two big lines which in the summer these are probably trickable jumps <laughs> really tight the transitions are really short it's a nice little section for kids to come We've got the cafe just in the background there if you're a parent mums and dads and you want to bring the kids kids can play here whilst you sit and have a brew in the calf so yeah that's it guys that's Leeds urban bike park picked a bit of a crap day to come but i thought whilst i was in the area i'll come and check it out just going to nip into the calf now and see what it's what that's like so i've just come into the calf at the Leeds urban bike park to check things out i've been chatting with one of the owners nick so her and husband to be Jeremy who's started everything here and by the sounds of it it started off uh, a bit of a, just a club a uh, local bike club Jeremy is British cycling coach and does a lot of British cycling coaching and they used to organize a kids club every Saturday morning take the kids just around the local park teach them basic bike skills and things like that so it's really impressive what these guys have done you've been open uh, three months yes yeah three to three months and it's just getting busier and busier. Jeremy used to run bike club here before then. Yes, That's so it. Give us a bit yeah, of background. Yeah, so we did the bike club. So we have the kids come in, so they'd just take a bike, we'd take them for a leg, leg, leg ride around the park. Um, a lot of local kids really, so it's getting them off the streets. We used to do that every Saturday morning. 
Then we'd have a lot of the mums that'd come in, mums and dads, so they'd buy coffee. Um, and that's it really, yes. So if kids haven't got a bike, they can turn up, the bikes yeah, available? Yeah, we had donated bikes, yeah. That's okay, so, so it's cool. let them use bike. obviously a helmet as well. So they'd come, just grab a bike, they got that they, they'd come and get their own bikes, they got used to a certain yeah, bike, yeah. so then, yeah. So yeah, that was a nice little chat with Nick there, and obviously her and her husband-to-be, Jeremy, have started the place. It's um, off the camera, we was having quite a long conversation about some things, and it's the same old story, actually. A lot of people don't realise, and it's something I'm keen to sort of get across. Obviously, I do a lot of work with centres like this, and there's some locally to us, and I've done a lot of work with local BMX clubs and things like that over the years, and it's always the same story. There's a lot of politics involved, fully appreciate just how much work goes into these sort of facilities and a facility like this once it's all finished and it looks really great and the trails are nice and everything's been built and tens of thousands of pounds has been raised and, and then spent making this facility cafe area and the bikes and all that sort of stuff and it looks absolutely fab so what you don't realize is is jeremy nick's other half he's been in this game for years um the fair of them used to run leeds bmx club jeremy used to run leeds bmx club for years and years for that so we're talking about decades of work that goes into eventually getting something like this these guys are still working full-time jobs as well as running this facility so yeah nick absolutely lovely lady by the sounds of it her and jeremy are a fantastic team and I wish all the best to them and what a rocking cracking facility the the rain stopped now so i think i might go out for another little play